Want to see something cool? I get it. Your boyfriend's got a really short fuse. I'm not that kind of guy. We talked about the main fuse for the little baby generator, and some of you think that's a big one. Compared to the ones you're used to seeing, sure. Or the one that protects your whole house, yeah. That's the problem of perspective, and perspective is everything. Let me give you an example, because I have this fucking thing. This is what a really big fuse looks like. Don't give me that look. It's not the first time I've whipped out the longest one in the room. This is only a 150 amp fuse, but it's rated for 138,000 volts. Round numbers, it's about 20 megawatts. Or more than 15,000 homes, and that's an estimate so conservative it doesn't even count poor neighborhoods. To be fair, it's a red line. It works just the same as smaller ones, just with bigger parts, much like myself. There's the hinge pins at the base. This is how you hang it. The pull ring at the top with the release tube above it. The cool thing is most of this length is for arc extinguishing and conductor separation. The actual fusible element in here is just a tiny piece of silver, only about this big. It's just a precisely made wire that's designed to melt when a specific current passes through it. The operating tolerances on this are within half that of most regular fuses. That's because even at 10%, we're still talking about 2 million watts of power, and that's pretty cool. 